philosophy, build your body, realize yourself. I'm your host, Gaia Domenici. I have a PhD in philosophy, I'm a certified nutrition and health coach and a personal trainer in the making. This is my podcast where we'll be discussing how body, mind and spirit are all connected and how their balance defines our health. If you're passionate about training, nutrition and overall optimal performance, then you're in the right place. Hi Francesco, how are you? Hi Guy, I'm fine. Thanks for having me again. Such a Thanks pleasure. for coming on so again. <laughs> so yeah, I think we've got some um, unfinished business as well. So, <laughs> same as you, we need to talk like about, that. yeah. We've got some um, topics that we mentioned last time and we didn't have time to, um, to finish. Yes. So yeah, I mean, the... The focus of today's podcast, I want it to be mostly on uh, misconceptions around the bodybuilding industry. And um, I wanted to discuss this with you because um, you're probably the best, like the right person to, you know, to discuss this topic with. I've had the experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And um, yeah, based on uh, what you know, um, you mentioned last time, uh, um, I was thinking about some uh, subjects that we should um, explore today. And uh, so the, the first one, the first issue is a uh, lack of brain um, if you're a bodybuilder. So, Exactly. It's like you train your body so you don't have a mind, you don't have a, um, a brain behind. Now, um, part of this has been uh, covered because we, I mean, you told me a lot last time, but um, that was mostly based on your experience, on your personal experience. Um, I wanted to discuss this a little bit more in detail in terms of, um, um, I mean, as a general rule, like uh, who who is a bodybuilder like what does a bodybuilder do not just you but like uh, you know um in general so is it is it this true that if you want to succeed you 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 don't have a brain or do you really need a brain to really build your body and you succeed? do need you a do. brain yeah so <laughs> what's your, what's your you thing don't have a brain no way you can succeed it's impossible yeah because you you know um you have to to know what you're doing and if you have no brain you can't do that yeah basically it's a uh, it's pretty logic and um well uh, I've always, yeah, i was uh, thinking about like you know um something that came to my mind is like uh, uh planning strategies goals uh so like if you don't have a brain how can you uh, plan and how can you stick to your program? How can yeah. you create strategies that work? So, um, th- yeah, I think that that was pretty much what I wanted to, to talk about today. Yeah. First of all, um, when, you, when you begin, when you're a beginner, uh, you can think about uh, doing great things, uh, lifting heavy from the very first workout. Um, you have to you have to, to stick to a program because, uh, because if, you, if you exaggerate, uh, you, you can only have a, a problem in terms of injuries uh, or uh, maybe even uh, overtraining. And um, I think uh, um, you, you should have uh, um, short-term goals and long-term goals. Um, Periodization uh, is not it's not easy, so uh, we know that, and uh, you need brain to do that. <laughs> so once again, um, I think uh, that uh, when you start, uh, you have to you have to know that um, um, it's gonna be a long road. Okay, um, you don't have to expect too much uh, uh, in uh, in the short term, but you have to to look forward. To, to the long term, um, for example, uh, if I have the goal to um, to lift uh, 
100 kilos on the on the bench press okay the first time i go to the gym i don't load 100 kilos on the barbell because uh, i don't want to die basically so i don't do that um so um you have to uh, to go step by step and um, i think that only a smart person can understand that um, so we are not just, uh, uh, as you know, and as you and as you said, uh, we are not just training uh, our bodies, but our minds. Uh, and I'd like to say we we first train train uh, our mind because uh, it comes first because you uh, have to understand what you have to do before you actually do that. So. Uh, uh, when I when I have to perform a set uh, on a bench press, I always say bench press because I love bench press. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we know. And, uh, yeah. uh, before I do that, I think about how I do that. Uh, I, I think about the weights, uh, the rep goals, uh, uh, everything. So the the key word is think. I think. Okay. So if I think. I have a brain, so I'm not sorry, but an idiot, like uh, like many many people many people uh, may may think. So um, no no one is... thinks. So. <laughs> so this is uh, this is the the message I wanted to give. Um, because, yeah, and, uh, uh, if I may say something on this, I was thinking. I, I, I was struck by, you know, what you said that you need to train your mind first because I think that you need to train your mind and then you need to train with your mind. So you need exactly. to train your mind so that your mind can train your body. As so I, the mind has to be trained circle. first. Yeah, because the mind needs to get into the mindset. So you have a goal. I want to big. I, I want to get big. Okay. You're not going to get big, as you said, after one session of bench press. You, you, you might get a little bit bigger within one year. So let's quantify how big you yeah. want to get and uh, let's break it down into um, smaller uh, term goals. And, and, uh, exactly. And, and I wanted, I wanted, and so I wanted to say that, exactly. Yeah. I, I did a po an entire podcast on um, goal settings, um, uh, three, four, I think it was a couple of episodes ago. So you, you um, if you haven't seen it, you can just go and uh, and check. Maybe maybe, maybe I've seen I've seen something. Yeah, yeah. it was um, so it was. I mean, okay, it was just about uh, goal setting and yeah. Um, strategies yeah. and uh, that kind yeah. of stuff. But we we got really into detail with with, um, with this idea of uh, breaking you know down goals into uh, smaller. Uh, term one. We, we can say mini goal, re reaching mini goals to get the big goal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Make, that, that's the that's to make it simple. Part. To make it simple, mini yeah. goals. So uh, in in one year, I want to to gain uh, 10, uh, yeah. 10 pounds of of lean body mass. So uh, maybe <laughs> it was a, I think it's if a you're, dream. You, if you're okay. a beginner, no. If you're a beginner, you, you're a beginner. Be, yeah, I, maybe I'm even. Just, uh, I'm just uh, I'm just I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you, of course, if you're a beginner, but it's not so easy if you're not. Um, <laughs> and uh, maybe you can say, okay, I try to gain uh, um, this this amount of muscle by uh, the first month. That then uh, uh, in the next two months, this other amount of muscle, and then maybe you can you can reach your goal. But uh, yeah, but it's, sorry, but how you do it? You do it by planning, and uh, like. Uh, not just by eating, but also by planning your training. No, no. Of, uh, you, have, you, have to, you have to follow a plan, of course. And uh, uh, you also have to, to, to be able to understand if and when you have to modify eventually your, uh, your plan. Uh, because uh, because uh, it's not easy, because it, we have to, sometimes we make, mis we make mistakes, okay? And uh, we have to, to be smart enough to, to say, okay, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing something wrong. And uh, you, have to, you have to change something. Okay, uh, you, you change something. Sometimes you, you have to go back, okay, uh, in order to, to, go, to go much, much forward. Yeah. 
you have to go back and then you just do that. Uh, maybe uh, it's, a, it's a bit uh, hard to, to, to understand and to do because uh, uh, basically uh, your ego <laughs> is not, uh, yeah. uh, it's crushed maybe, maybe by this thing, but we are, uh, we are not about, yeah. uh, only about ego. Yeah, I think we know, we're going to talk about your ego, well, not yours, but like about ego. Um, My no, we're going. We're, we're going to to cover this topic as well. That that would be the next one. But yeah, no, exactly. That that that's. Uh, I mean, I couldn't agree more. Like you need to plan. You need to put yourself aside. You need to make room for um, for your training, and um, so that you can uh, stick to your plan. So uh, first step is you need a mind. You need a trained mind to train your body. So you need a working mind, you need, um, you, you need a flexible mind as well, because uh, you need, to be, you need to, to be ready to understand whether you might need to make a change or you yeah. might stick to the same plan. And if I can say, you have always, always to, to stay humble. Because and you had to stay humble, yes. Because uh, uh, if, you, if, you see, if you see you're improving, uh, sometimes uh, you you feel like oh I am a god I'm the best I'm number one no no <laughs> no you're no one yeah. you have uh, you have so so much to to learn always yeah. and uh, it doesn't matter how big and how strong you are you always have to learn and uh, I I think uh, that uh, um, people uh, people don't understand uh, this uh, this concept because um, I see uh, too many people who Basically, set. So, I mean, uh, um, they uh, they reach uh, maybe uh, um, a goal uh, and that they that they plan to reach. Okay, but they could do more, but they don't because uh, because they set. So they go, oh, okay, it's enough. Okay, it's enough. No, if you if you can do more, why? You why need to stay you? hungry. You need to stay hungry for more. Always hungry yeah. for more. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I love that, that you mentioned this because, um, so we said that you need to keep a flexible mind and so you need to have like an open mind and also towards yourself. So you, you need to be willing to improving and also willing to learning more. So you, you need to, you need to be, to stay humble, as you said, not just uh, um, in relation to your training program, but also in relation to your own uh, uh, to your own body and how you know it re responds to a certain training uh, stimulus or to certain diet or like you know um, other other things other things that you might uh, try other experiences meditation as we said last time so and you also need to stay hungry for more because why why settling when you can have more um, exactly. and, I, and I think we should all um, aim at uh, fulfilling our own uh, potential, um, if it makes any sense. Like we, 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 we're all born with a certain potential and why, why stop in before? It's a, it's, it's a waste. It's a waste. It's such a waste. A waste of life. Yeah. yeah, because uh, uh, um, I, know, I know many, many people who, who have a, a great potential. But I mm, uh, partially could say that even about myself, uh, because um, I, I, can't, uh, I can't complain with, uh, with what I did and with what I am, uh, I can say that. Uh, but I know and I think that I, I could have done more uh, because in, in some, um, some times of my life, uh, I I didn't uh, I didn't do uh, the the right things uh, in, the, in this um, in this field. Uh, I mean bodybuilding or powerlifting. Uh, like, can you can you give some example? I'm I'm uh, yeah, yeah. In 2015 and 2016, um, I was stage ready, but I didn't compete mm. uh, because basically uh, I settled, as I said. And, uh, and I say that because I don't want other people uh, to make uh, the same mistakes I did. 
so um, as I said, I was stage ready, and many people uh, was telling me, "You got it. Why don't you do this?" Um, because I, and I said, "Because I'm fine. I'm just doing it for myself. Uh, I'm okay." Um, and this is a little regret. Okay, uh, okay, I won in 2017, uh, as you said, as you said, but um, this is, um, is a kind of little regret I still have, and that's why I'm trying to mm. come back, as, uh, as, we, as we mentioned last time. Yeah, but uh, I guess you don't know, like, uh, do you think you would have still won in 2017 if you had competed in 2015? Uh. That's, I know, I know it's just speculation, you, you, know, a, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I think that I use that, uh, I can call it the uh, regret, frustration, uh, whatever you want, um, to, um, as, a, as an extra boost. Um, because, um, as I said last time, uh, I had to face uh, so, so, so many naysayers and uh, you're not gonna do this uh, and um, so um, the same uh, some of uh, the same people who used to tell me why didn't you compete then uh, when they realized I, I was about to, to step on the stage with them <laughs> they told me mm, you're not so ready uh, you're not gonna make it uh, and <laughs> And uh, so uh, I think uh, when they say that uh, my haters are uh, my greatest motivators, I think this is pure gold uh, because it's, uh, it's pretty much my philosophy of life. Mm -hmm. And uh, because uh, it's, it's very true. And it worked in, um, in that, concept, in that uh, contest. Um, but um, as for your question, uh, <laughs> It's difficult. I, yeah, to I don't think that's, that's difficult. I think I think uh, I think that well, maybe if uh, if I if I had experienced um, a setback or delusion or something by stepping uh, on the stage in 2015 or 16, maybe uh, um, my revenge spirit <laughs> would uh, would have allowed me to. To do to do that again in 2017 and win and win anyway, maybe not. Uh, or, or maybe <laughs> you would have won, so you would have settled because you would have had exactly. any so no, no I, more interest in uh, yeah, competing again. Yeah, uh, we never know. Uh, yeah. We never know, basically. But uh, yeah. that's a, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So just to to recap. So basically, you need um. So. You've got your brain. Don't forget you've got your brain. You need to train your mind so that your mind can become flexible, can become, um, can make you humble all the time and can uh, help you uh, create a good plan and strategies and, um, and, and set some goals as well. So that's the kind of, of mind you need to, to have or to train um to 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 become a successful um, uh, bodybuilder whether you compete or not let's call it let's keep calling it this yeah. way and um and you need to stay hungry as we said but also humble and and this leads me directly to the second point i wanted to to cover today which is um bodybuilders are selfish and vain and uh, they only think about themselves they just uh, flex in the mirror exactly <laughs> and <laughs> They, they have, they've got no time for family, they've got no time for a real job, they've got no time for social life, which is partly true, but, uh, but, the, but, the, but the reason is not that they're selfish. And um, in fact, I would argue that it's uh, the opposite going on. So a real bodybuilder lacks of ego. Well, they don't maybe lack completely of ego, but when you train, you put your ego, so training comes first and you put your ego in a lower place. So okay. you've got your goal, so that's my, yeah, that, that's my idea, my suggestion. So you've got your goal and um, that's your ultimate goal that you want to achieve. And because you're so focused on that goal, uh, you don't, uh, you, you kind of forget about your ego and uh, your ego 
only only comes uh, second to your goal. That being said, um, I think we all started because we all wanted to look better. So that, that I mean, I guess it's normal to have an ego, and I think, uh, I mean, everyone would lie if you know if uh, if they said that they. It's not bad. So, yeah. Ego. Uh, the fact yeah. is uh, um, that uh, it's good as long uh, as uh, it's uh, it isn't too much, okay? Uh, because uh, when it's too much, I think that uh, you. Um, tend to to look at yourself as you are as i was as i was saying as you i'm the best i'm the number one no uh, yeah, when you when you do this uh, you you stop improving you stop improving and uh, if you if you improving is the key and not only in bodybuilding of course in life but uh, in bodybuilding you have to you have to stay to stay focused on improving constantly improving uh, because um, if you if you don't uh, if you don't realize okay you, you, you can you can say that uh, you stopping improving okay then uh, it means you you're doing something wrong okay uh, if you have uh, uh, too too much ego okay uh, you didn't even realize that, so uh, so you can't uh, uh, you can't uh, you can fix something you you're doing wrong, okay? And you're not improving anymore, and you never you never improve again. And and sometimes when it happens, people tend to quit. So uh, this is the end, basically. Uh, uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, that ego is okay. Uh, it's okay feeling like uh, a god <laughs> when you when you success successfully uh, lift a heavy weight. It, it's okay. I do this. Okay, um, who follows me? Uh, the one who the one the ones who follow me knows. <laughs> I, I know. I know this very you well. Do. You do. Too. You I, do yeah. too. You do And I think and I think it's it, it's a, of course it's a kind of a joke, but. Um, uh, that, that feeling it's is okay, but after yeah. you 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 did something remarkable, and, not and more. I don't think it's only okay. I think it's it's worth your. Um, yeah. uh, how how can I explain this? It's like Maybe a, it's a worth reward. The effort. Yeah. Okay. It's totally worth the effort, but also like a, okay, you've accomplished something, right? So you deserve it. So that's your moment of glory. So exactly. yes. it and enjoy yes. it you know, to its fullest. Exactly. But just never forget where you come from. Like uh, never exactly. forget who you are and where you want to go. So it's like uh, this, is, this, is, this is exactly what I, I I think I always do that every right. single time I train in general. Be, because uh, also being too too hard, you know, on oneself, I don't think it's healthy because it doesn't pay off. It, yeah, it doesn't, pay, doesn't off. pay off because it's depressing. And, and also there's a lot to celebrate, Negative. there's a lot to celebrate for. So like say you started from zero and within one year, say within your first year of training, you, you managed to bench press, I don't know, 80 kg, okay? And you started from zero and you couldn't even uh, lift the, the empty bar. So yes, you need to, you must stop for one second and be happy, you know, with, with what you've what? accomplished so far. But you shouldn't settle. <laughs> like you, you should stay hungry for more. And and also I don't know. You say you've been cutting for a while, and uh, you're finally showing uh, some ab definition. Yeah, enjoy it. Like look, you know, look at yourself. But never stop. But never just, stop. Exactly. Just, just never stop. You, you're you know? not there. You're, you're not, not there, there yet. yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I think the, I think this is the key uh, because. Uh, um, it's a it's a moment of satisfaction. Okay, um, um, when I when I successfully uh, lift heavy, or uh, I look at myself in the mirror and I see, oh, okay, I look bad. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, it's okay, uh, but it lasts one second. Then you have to to refocus and to go back on track yeah. and uh, hit as hard as you can. So, because uh, 
um, uh, I mean, um, <laughs> we we have uh, we have uh, a way of saying in Italy, no? <laughs> uh, we say "chi si accontenta God," right? You know it. Yeah. And uh, um, so it basically we can say that uh, the one who accepts us. Uh, I think uh, I think I don't know how to say that in English it's because like, it's uh, difficult to, yeah, to translate would, something like that. It, but, would, uh, it, would, it would translate into something like if you're content with what you what, what you've got, that's more than enough to enjoy yourself. Okay. Yeah, I don't. But, know if, but, yeah. but I don't think so. No. Uh, that because, it would be like uh, a be content. We we be content with what you have. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. no, I, I agree. I agree with you. And I was thinking about um, a parallel about something. Um, I was thinking about some um, famous bodybuilders at the apex of their career, like uh, um, they were on the Olympia stage, they were rich in everything. And yet, they wouldn't feel complete, they wouldn't feel uh, fulfilled in life. And they decided to step back, to step back I was thinking about Ben Pakolsky, but also Dorian Yates. And these people made significant changes in life. And uh, they've completely changed their, their lifestyle, their diet, and um, their training as well. And they feel happier now. Uh, OK, Dorian Yates quit after <laughs> winning many, many, many times, so of course. But, but I mean, but the, you know, the man he is, he is now is completely different from the, the shadow he used to be. And, oh, uh, yeah. and uh, no, I, I love him. And, uh, but, the, but the thing is, that, I mean, what I wanted to say is, uh, don't think that just because you look at your best aesthetically, you're at your best in life. Exactly. Be because life goes on. So you might not feel um, happy today, even though you look perfect. And um, I mean, these were famous bodybuilders that I, were, that I was uh, talking about, but the same applies to a lot of um, amateur competitors who just, you know, yeah, decide to, to do a show. And after the show, they're like, oh my God, yeah, it's so frustrating. Now I, I feel drained, I want, I'll give up. And uh, no, and, and that's it. I think, uh, uh, again, it's not just the body. There's something more. There's the mind, there's the spirit, there's a, um, a sense of um, wholeness, I would say. Um, there's a sense of uh, being uh, one as a human being. And, um, and also um, there's a sense of um, connection with the universe, with, um, with the earth, okay. with everything surrounding us, relationships. It's not just the body. Wow. Uh, and so I think I think it would be possible. Yeah, it would. It would not be, just the body. It's it would be just burning out completely. It would be impossible. It would be impossible uh, because we are, we are not we are not cyborgs. We are not machines. We are humans. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes, we, for, sometimes we forget it, it about cool, it. But but we are not. So um, I think that uh, without. Uh, without uh, relationships, uh, friends, uh, what you want. Um, I think life, uh, if you uh, re reduce your life to only bodybuilding, you're not going anywhere uh, because it's uh, unsustainable. <laughs> it's impossible. And also if you reduce your training to only body training without placing like mindfulness in, into your training. Because sometimes, sometimes we, uh, we reach our limit with our with our with our body, but not with our mind. Yeah. So exactly. if we if we go further with uh, with our mind, then we can do the same with our body and push our body beyond its limits. Yeah. And and I think uh, that uh, um, just a few people can do that uh, uh, because it's not uh, it's not easy at all. And um, I think that. Uh, I mean, uh, it would be easy, uh, <laughs> basically, everyone could do that, but it's not. So um, I think uh, uh, that uh, we, we have to grow, of course, uh, uh, both uh, mentally and uh, physically. And uh, as we said, uh, first, we have to, to grow mentally. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, yeah, we have to be, to be convinced uh, with um, what we're doing and uh, 
because um, if we are not uh, we have we are not motivated, uh, uh, so uh, we lack of motivation, uh, uh, lack of um, of uh, if we are not angry, uh, like uh, like we were uh, we were saying, uh, basically we can uh, we can do we can do nothing. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, exactly. And we need to put our goals first, and our ego at the at the very end of the chain. And yes. um, something that we were talking about earlier and uh, before starting recording was the problem of um, commodification, which relates to this idea of um, having a body. So you train because you're selfish, you're vain, you only think about yourself. So if I'm a woman and I say and I see um, a guy training or, you know, all pumped up uh, and uh, flexing and what, what, you know, the first thing that crosses my mind is like, oh, that's one of them, one of those uh, guys who just think of training. And probably it's the same when, uh, when some guys see a woman just, you know, passing by or like, uh, oh, that's like, you know, maybe a beauty that, that there's a lot of gorgeous women uh, wearing like nice dresses, right? Because everyone, you know, can wear whatever they want. But there's some, you know, some sort of misconceptions. There's some prejudice um, about who does what. So if a um, good looking woman um, wears a nice dress and just, uh, you know, uh, walks past a group of um, guys, I mean, at least some of them will tell her something. See. And and exactly. this, yeah, and say, same situation opposite uh, genders. Like you know, the I don't know. There's a woman doing cardio um, um, in the gym, and there's a guy, you know, uh, pumping his biceps. The woman will think, oh, that guy is sick. He can only think about you know building muscle. But you know, guess what? Like uh, neither of these are true. I, like, I can I can't even count how many times it happened to me. I can't count. <laughs> so, um, um, as we were talking, um, so many. Uh, I don't like um, this. Is a, a thing about me. Uh, it's uh, it's weird, <laughs> but I don't like go going to the beach. And people say, "Why with with such a physique?" <laughs> because I I don't want to show off. I don't train to show off my physique at the beach. I train for myself because I like it, because it makes me feel better. Um, so this is a, one kind of misconception because I think, um, uh, okay, um, if you ask me so, then I have to assume that the, when you train, you do uh, because you want to show off your physique at the beach and not and just not, nothing more, basically. So. Uh, I think it's useless uh, because uh, there are many, many reasons why uh, one uh, want to, wants to train. But um, I think this is, a, <laughs> this is the stupidest reason as possible. Uh, um, I, of course, uh, I, I, I used to compete and I want to do that again. But um, I mean, uh, competing uh, is not the only uh, is not the only goal for uh, for for, for, for someone uh, who who trains. Uh, as I said, uh, in uh, 2015 and 16, I I trained um, as hard as I'm doing now, uh, as I did in 2017. Uh, but I didn't compete. Uh, but this 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 didn't change the way uh, the way I train, the way I approach my diet. Uh, um, so um, um, I think there's more uh, than meets the eye. Uh, I, I, I like to say that uh, because um, uh, it often uh, happened to me uh, that when I when I talk to to, to, to a girl, of course, uh, uh, the first uh, the first thing is uh, is about my body. Oh, you go to the gym. Oh, like you said before. Um, and this is a, a negative point, okay? It should be, it should be um, a positive one, but it's not. It's yeah, the opposite. Exactly, but it's, yeah, 
You should be Why? because you should Why? be, you know, this person look, look, looks after himself, you know, this guy is a healthy guy. No, what they only can think of is, oh, that's one who goes to the gym every day. So yeah, that, that's why. You all, why? You, you, you all think about going to the gym. You have no time for me. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and, uh, and let's be honest. Like, uh, how long you know? How long does a session take you? Like, it can take you two hours. Nah, ninety minutes. Ninety minutes. minutes. Yeah, I mean, minutes. okay. Let, let's hours, include uh, shower you, and everything. Uh, shower uh, and anything. Okay, yeah. two hours. In okay. a day, like yeah. How can you not have time? You know. Like you know, you know, we have 24 hours a day, right? <laughs> okay. So uh, if I if I if I spend two hours or maybe two hours and a half at the gym, I'm not I'm not killing anyone. No. <laughs> okay. I'm and just how, how long does right? you know this person? Uh, like a, you know how much time does this per this person spend on social media, exactly. scrolling down um, Instagram? Exactly. You know. Exactly. Or, uh, if you if you put you know all those that, 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 that is a waste yeah. of time, not the gym. That's that a waste, the of real time. waste of time. Yeah, yeah. Not the gym. Um, uh, you you have time for for everything. Yeah, you just to make, to time. make yeah, exactly. You make time. That's, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that that's it. That's We're it. Connected. Yeah. Yeah, we connected. Yes, we are. So so yeah. You so basically you're not selfish because you 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 place your goals. Uh, before anything else, you place your, I mean, and wh when I say goals, I don't mean just um, aesthetic goals. I mean, uh, all that, that we mentioned earlier. So goals as a human being, you train because you want to improve yourself. You train because you want to become a better human being that you were yesterday and uh, the day before and so on. So you, you train because you want to improve and only those who train really hard know what that means because if you just go to the gym to burn calories so that you don't don't feel guilty for the ice cream you ate yesterday <laughs> or the pizza you're gonna have today and you just uh, burn you know th like uh, 400 calories on the treadmill then you develop a sick relationship with um with fitness with uh, with the gym and you don't really know like a punishment like this it's like a punishment and you don't really know what hard you know work and hard training means but if you go one hour a day to just lift real iron and to just feel good and strong and healthy because that's how you feel when you when you stick to a proper well constructed program and we, we could also talk about that. Like there are a lot of people who don't want to hire a coach or a PT and they just make, a, you know, such a mess and they don't know how to train and they overreach and okay. But in an ideal situation, you start with a coach or with a PT uh, and you start training with a well-constructed program that perfectly meets your own needs and everything. You feel healthy, you feel strong, you feel, you feel fit. You feel good with yourself, and you. And you I tell you what, you feel good with other people. You feel better well. with other people yeah. uh, because you're more relaxed. Uh, you 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 can uh, you can get so much relief from uh, from another session, uh, from uh, from stress, uh, yeah. uh, from uh, negative energy. You can get rid of, of this negativity. Um, I think that, uh, uh, it, uh, as, I, as I already said, maybe even the last time, um, it saved my life, uh, literally, uh, because um, in, uh, in our times, uh, I think uh, that the uh, gym could be really, really helpful, uh, not, not only for, for ourselves, but uh, for the one uh, who surrounds us. Uh, because I can uh, have a better relationship uh, with my girlfriend if I had one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, with, with your with, yeah. with, uh, with my parents, with my friends. Yeah. Uh, um, if I if I feel better with myself, I feel better with other people. And if Jim can help me um, in doing this, then it's a positive thing. Um, and you know there are a lot of people who spend money on uh, hot yoga just to name one okay that's popular that's trendy that's far 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 away from what original yoga was meant to be 
but it's you know it's getting so trendy because you just pay money to sweat a lot Exactly. And, and it doesn't even, you know, the thing is there are a lot of studies associating, um, you know, muscle mass with longevity, okay, because I, I did an entire podcast on this, because muscle prevents you from uh, sarcopenia, of course, which is the loss of muscle mass, right. and, uh, and so uh, muscle mass and uh, strength training, power training are all associated with more independence in the um, elderly life, so in the um, old age. And um, so they give you, they just give you a better outcome wh when it comes to right. longevity. Yoga can be good for your mind, but real yoga, not hot yoga. I mean, I've got nothing against hot yoga. And it, but what I'm trying to say is there's no need to spend, you know, a lot of money to chase something uh, trendy when you can, uh, you know, achieve the same result just with one hour of training <laughs> in your local gym. Then, okay, not everyone loves training, but I think if you find some, I mean, I, I don't really, when people say, oh, I don't like it, I hate it, maybe it's because they haven't found what, what they might I, enjoy. I, I, was, uh, I was just about to say this, because uh, maybe they are just uh, doing, doing something they, they don't like because they just uh, try to do this only thing, yeah. not maybe other things. Um, yeah, maybe they're training in, in the wrong uh, rep range because some people, uh, there was, I remember for a couple of years, I tried to only train within the eight and the 12 reps. And uh, it was, it was the, the worst time of my life and I couldn't see any improvement. So I, I went back just because at that time I was a bit self-conscious about my quads being too big. So I wanted to... Um, to build my upper body a little bit more and uh, to focus, you know, less on my legs. And, um, and I changed my, you know, like that's very common, especially among but, women. Uh, same thing, uh, another, another myth, which is uh, so hard to die. It's uh, you have to do four sets of eight, <laughs> eight to 12. Plus <laughs> and three oh sets my God. Yeah. of 12 reps for get to get lean yeah that, that's that's ridiculous oh, God, no, God, yeah, God, God. God. But you know some, that, <laughs> every that, again some people don't i die inside that. every time every time every time i hear that i die inside yeah. because i mean we are 2020 oh god no <laughs> darwin darwin uh, darwin was wrong <laughs> no yeah no exactly uh, so to put it in a nice way, some people might not be, you know, might not have enough knowledge um, about training and they might just uh, get stuck into a um, cycle that just doesn't work for them. So they find it frustrating. So they just quit. They just give up uh, their training. So that's that another scenario. But and again, OK, not everyone is made for powerlifting. Not everyone is made for um, yeah. endurance not everyone is made, not even everyone is made for hypertrophy you have to your field. yeah, yeah but you, you need to find uh, and my, maybe you might not enjoy lifting every day but you might i'm sure there's a formula which includes some weight training and other things for for you know for each and every human being in the world yeah you, you also have to, to to be lucky to have a, a coach or a pt uh, which, uh, which who can uh, can help you? Yeah. I, I I wasn't that lucky, so I I wasted the, maybe the best uh, the best years, uh, the yeah. most productive years uh, when I was a teenager or, or um, until my 24 25 years, uh, because I've always done basically everything by myself, and I made a lot of mistakes um, along the way. Uh, I I have a good uh, good knowledge now, but uh, <laughs> when I when I started training um, real hard uh, in 2011, uh, I used to to do many things that I can think about about it now. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm shocked. Uh, so. Um, um, we we have, we have, we always uh, uh, have to to think about that um, no one is always lucky to have someone uh, 
uh, that uh, can can guide us uh, in this in this path yeah. in this uh, in this path of, of bodybuilding, powerlifting, fitness, whatever. Um, I had to do all by myself, so I understand uh, if uh, someone sometimes uh, wants to quit uh, because uh, it crossed my mind, uh, but but I didn't, thank God. <laughs> and um, because when you when you don't see results, uh, maybe you 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 blame uh, you blame some, something uh, uh, which is uh, which is not responsible uh, for your lack of uh, of results. And also, and like, are you eating, you know, adequate, like an, an adequate diet for your training? Because sometimes, exactly. especially, Maybe. this happens a lot with my clients, like they want to get stronger and then they don't eat any carbs after training because they exactly. think that eating carbs after training will make them fat. Exactly. And, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I used to do the, the, the same mistakes uh, uh, when I, uh, when I was younger, I, I didn't, um, I didn't eat uh, enough. I, I used to to eat just uh, basically protein and just uh, just a few carbs, no fat. And uh, as I told you the last time, uh, I almost destroyed myself. So uh, it's a, it's a it's a very common mistake. Um, and uh, if uh, you have to to be lucky, as I said, to to have to have something, yeah. uh, someone on it. Uh, who can uh, who can say no? Uh, that's not the way. Yeah. Uh, because uh, yeah, if you if you sometimes you, you can't you can't do this uh, by yourself. You you need someone to tell you because exactly. uh, yeah. because you, you you can do it you can do it uh, all by yourself. No, sometimes so you, uh, the message I would like you know to to. <laughs> To share, like so, the um, like the the the, ta to the takeaway from this um, second point that we just covered is, I'm sure there's a training uh, program that works for everyone. So if you're just about to quit, just don't, but reach out for help instead. There are a lot of coaches that can really help you, and um, I've seen a lot. Like you know, sometimes it's just small, uh, really small tweaks that people need. It's like a minimum changes. Um, I mean, as my followers know, I was vegan for a long time and uh, those were like the, the, the worst. So yeah, uh, uh, it was like a very hard time for me because I, I couldn't make any progress. And um, you know, sometimes it's hard to relate it to, to your diet. Obviously reason why I quit veganism wasn't because I wanted to make <laughs> Probably like that, that would have been extremely selfish. And uh, so that that wasn't, but accidentally as a side effect, I gained uh, um, a lot of muscle. I'm not joking. Like I, I wasn't a beginner because uh, um, I quit veganism like um, one year and a half ago. So after like 12 years of training and uh, I, I gained like um, six kg of lean muscle in one year. Wow. <laughs> So wow. I mean, yeah, obviously just in like uh, just in my upper body because like you know I mean that that's genetics that there, there are certain areas in your body where, where you can um, gain muscle. I'd like, I'd, I'd like to do that. I'd like to do that too. <laughs> yeah, no, I, but you know, like exactly like that. That's the thing because uh, it's never too late. You don't. You, you there's no way for you to know until you try. So sometimes it's again it's being open-minded and. Um, trying exactly. um, new things that might really help you but if you don't ask for help in my case exactly. i didn't ask well, for help I, but, you yeah. try something else yeah maybe it's it's frustrating sometimes, sometimes because yeah. you try and try and try and, and never work and never works but eventually you'll find yeah. something uh you just have to um, to to persevere right okay uh, um, Sometimes it, it's hard, I know, uh, because I've experienced that. Um, um, maybe uh, I don't remember, uh, it was uh, seven years ago and um, I, I, couldn't, um, I couldn't lose, uh, lose weight. I mean, um, I, was, uh, I was eating um, a ridiculous amount of, uh, of calories and food and 
but uh, I, I couldn't lose weight. And um, so I found out that my diet was, uh, was wrong. <laughs> I, was, I was saying another, another word, but that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, so I realized that and, uh, and I said, okay, for this, this year is gone and uh, I made this mistake. I'm not gonna do it again. And in, uh, in 2014, Yes, it was 2014. Maybe uh, it was the first year I I looked like uh, uh, a real bodybuilder. Um, I mean, um, um, shredded. Exactly. Like a jacket. Shredded. Shredded. Uh, shredded uh, um, I mean, uh, um, I I had a, a good uh, a good skin quality. Yeah, vascularity um, and everything. Exactly, uh, vascularity. Uh, so I was veiny and I love it, <laughs> which I, which I'm not now, unfortunately, because I'm working. <laughs> High effects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so, um, when you, uh, when something doesn't work, uh, you have to, to figure something out and, uh, and try and try something else, uh, because, uh, because I mean, um, and ask for help. Do that in life. We do that in life, and uh, we can do we can do this in, in bodybuilding, in fitness, in powerlifting, uh, everything. Yeah. And um, I think another 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 thing I, I wanted to, to say is that uh, uh, we need uh, discipline because uh, right. I, I think I think uh, discipline is uh, is the Jeez. base. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that uh, if we can, uh, if we can uh, have this kind of discipline in uh, in bodybuilding, we can have it in life too, right? Yeah. So it's another positive aspect of bodybuilding. So we are not that uh, as, you, as as we were talking about before, uh, vain and selfish and and, and and stuff. No, it's not just about this. And also, uh, I, I would say, just to conclude, uh, along, so alongside um, discipline, you, you need to have patience because you set yourself the goal of looking, you know, the way you want to look. And you, you need to have patience to wait till you reach that goal, which might take two, three, five years. And um, a good, and, uh, like another good thing is to focus or say your weakest body part is your, I don't know, your arms. So this year you only focus on your arms. Next year, you, you check, you, like you revise your goal. Like, uh, what, what, okay, you know, what, what do my arms, exactly. And you, and you move on to, to your chest and then you move on to your back and then you move on to your legs because eventually you will have to, to train this, your legs too. And this, and, um, this, is what I, this is what I did uh, yeah. because um, yeah. uh, I hope, um, I hope you, you didn't notice that my upper chest was my, my weak part. You, you, you told me, you mentioned that, yeah. 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 And, uh, and this year, um, even uh, in lockdown, I training at home. Yeah. I was training at home, so um, I, I focused my training on my, on my upper chest. And I can say that it paid off. <laughs> I can say that. And um, uh, I... I for my genetics, uh, I uh, I used to be all arms, so mm -hmm. I have big. I I I've always had big arms, okay, but mm, shoulders, uh, chest, uh, uh, mainly shoulders and chest um, wasn't. Uh, that was a, a good proportion. I I I didn't have, and um, this was uh, in. in um, uh, four or five, uh, five years ago, and um, I have to admit that um, uh, when uh, when they when they told me, uh, I I didn't care because I love my big arms. <laughs> but 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 then I realized that um, they were they were right. So um, I started train to train different, uh, different training. Uh, more uh, based on, uh, on my chest, on my back. Uh, um, I have to say um, my legs, uh, my legs uh, were 
I've always been big <laughs> as uh, as my arms. So uh, this is this were, uh, were not was not a problem. But um, yeah, we have to. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that's normal. I think it's, you know, it happens to everyone. Like this year you focus on these body parts, exactly. next year you focus on that one and so forth. Um, uh, so we've got just one left um, um, uh, misconception I wanted to talk very briefly because it's getting a bit late, but it's not going to take us a, lo uh, a lot of time because it's a quick one. And that's the prejudice according to which women should never train as men because they have uh, so they've got different genetics so someone says uh, because they've got different genetics their bodies will never respond um as the um, as a man's body so there's no need to train like a man someone else says uh, if women train like a man they'll end up looking like a man which is ridiculous because it's a uh, it's Look just at you. It's you're, you're beautiful, and you and, and you train and you train like and you train like a man, maybe maybe better. <laughs> yeah. No, but, but but it's true. But I, I mean, I, um, I mean, I appreciate you. I mean, it's, not, it's true. Like, uh, thanks for the nice words. But no, but the thing is, I've never even thought that I would ever look like a man. I started okay. training. Like, okay, this you know, this uh, load is getting uh, too light. I'm gonna just uh, increase it. And, uh, and so forth. I've never thought I'm gonna end up looking like a man. First of all, because obviously abnormal level of testosterone will make women look like a man. And also like uh, most, like uh, if you look at competitors who someone thinks might look like a, like a man, yeah, but those pictures or videos you, you look at are like a stage day, like show day videos and pictures the rest of the year those women look like women like uh, i mean to me they they don't look like men even on those days but i i see why some people you know think some yeah. people might think that but I, i've seen many i've seen many girls in my competition and i can say they they didn't look like men <laughs> no, exactly but that's the extreme leanness like you know when you but when obviously on your show day you're super of lean course. you're dehydrated uh, and you obviously you flex, you want to show your muscles, so you, you... It's, a, it's a particular context. Exactly. It's not every day, it's just <laughs> one, not even one day, one just a day. few hours. A few hours, yeah. If uh, one of those competitors then uh, goes out, you know, for dinner after the show and wears like a nice dress, yeah, <laughs> they just look gorgeous. Like you, you don't say she looks like a man. Then obviously, exactly. I mean, it's a matter of taste and everyone has got different preferences, but yeah, but th there's a lot of, you know, um, prejudice around it. And the most important thing is that the women should be training like men, in my opinion, also because um, uh, resistance they, training increases bone so mineral why, density. They can do this. Okay. So, yeah. so why, so why not, so why not doing this if they yeah. can? And, and also, exactly, and another thing, uh, men say, so someone says, um, women are weaker than men. Uh, yes, they're weaker if you compare, so a man with the same weight of a woman can lift more okay. compared to his own body, body weight. But, I mean, women can be stronger than men nonetheless. Like, uh, the, uh, I mean, I don't want to... I, I have to say, I have to say, and you know, I am sincere, that um, I, know, I know guys uh, uh, who basically wait, uh, wait like, like you, maybe, I think, uh, uh, which uh, actually lift uh, <laughs> less than you do. So <laughs> I think this is the answer. Um, I well, I like when I when I see when I see a woman training uh, like a man training heavy. Um, I know I know a few, and um, first they they don't don't look like uh, like a man at all. And um, I like them because they also have a strong character. Yeah. And uh, I think that um, this is uh, this is important because. Uh, um, when a, when a woman uh, look at another woman who trains, uh, the woman who doesn't train 
uh, saying I don't want to, to look, <laughs> look like, like a, a yeah, black, uh, don't worry. If, if you think like this, you'll never do. Okay. Um, sometimes it, it, it happened to me that, that uh, um, girls uh, ask me for, um, for, uh, for training, uh, training routines, okay? And, uh, and they told me, uh, but I don't want to look like a man. I don't, 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 I don't want to do squats. I don't want to bench. I don't... Okay. <laughs> Uh, but don't worry, uh, you won't. Uh, you, you, no way you can you can look like a man. Um, so uh, and also, uh, I mean, for a woman to to look muscular, it takes a lot of effort anyway, which comes with like nutrition and staying lean and, and a lot of other things, which not everyone needs to do, because we're talking about training, not about like necessarily looking like. Uh, so if you don't wanna, because like, I mean, I I know. Not everyone wants to look muscular. I, I get that. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, you can still train hard and not look, you know, muscular. Because if you don't, you know, eat properly, I mean, that would be such a waste, in my opinion. But I, I get that. Like, yeah. But I get that. Not everyone wants to to look. Uh, not everyone wants to fulfill their genetic potential anyway. Not everyone wants to build muscle, and uh, not everyone can build. Um, a lot of muscle either um, so I get that but we're talking training not necessarily you know appearance so women should should train like men and even harder just to to, to show them uh, that the no I'm joking but, but, but women should should train like men and uh, I mean some of the best sessions I've ever done in my life were with my husband when we would train together uh, now we don't train together anymore because we train at different times. But um, I've always enjoyed training with him, you know, the most because he looks at me, he corrects my form, if, you know, and, or, or I look at him and I correct his form. Or, you know, it's like a, uh, I don't know, it's like a mutual motivation and uh, it's like... Uh, he's a lucky man because I've never had a girlfriend uh, <laughs> <that's> just... <laughs> To, to, to go to the gym with me. That's, <laughs> so, because, of like, the prejudice. Exactly. That, that's because of the prejudice we're talking about, I'm afraid. Because um, a lot of women, and, and uh, I'm just gonna tell you this. Um, one of the first videos of my dragon flags you know, that I posted, um, um, a girl I know, she just texted me and said, wow, that is so hard. And I was like, uh, yeah, I'm still, you know, far from perfection, but I'm getting there. And her response were, was, well, but, you know, being a woman, you can uh, be more than happy with that. I was like, excuse me? And she's like, yeah, genetically women are weak. Uh, I was like, no, weak. I mean, no, strength uh, um, relates to body weight, not to gender, like to gender, but only to a certain extent. So I, I can do better than this. And, but you know, that's what, like, and, and um this person goes to the gym, um, but obviously she does a different kind of training from the one, you know, that I do. Uh, but, you know, but that's, that's what most people think. Like, okay, a woman, yeah, she's got strong core. Um, that's enough. Like, you know, like she's a woman, so she, she doesn't need to, you know, to, to train her core even more because uh, that's more than enough for a woman. See, uh, it's like uh, it's like uh, like we we were talking about um, the the subtle thing. Yeah, that's like yeah. the subtle thing. Yeah. Uh, it's it's it's, uh, I, I, it's a, I never understand that uh, because um, well, it's something um, it's something so 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 easy uh, for me to to want to to always do better and never settle and uh, mm -hmm. never be satisfied um, so when i when some when someone uh, when someone settles uh, um, just uh, i i don't like it because uh, it's it's a waste of potential as we were, exactly, as we were yeah. saying and um and i think that there are um, many many women uh, who can uh, waste their potential uh, because they self irritate Okay, to, to what they to what they can do, uh, they can, they could do much more, but uh, they say, oh, I'm not a man, I can't do this, I can't do that. Um, so 
it's a it's a waste i mean um uh if uh, <laughs> it should uh, mm, every woman should be like you in the in this okay yeah i mean because okay it, they might find a different kind of training that suits so, yes but i mean uh, I, I mean with with the mindset in terms of attitude yes I, I about agree. the mindset I agree. I agree. Uh, your determination uh, and uh, okay the video okay it's, no it's no, no you, you're back yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> I, I was I was saying that um, with uh, with their mindset uh, because you have uh, you have the right mindset uh, you have uh, you you always um, you always uh, focus the uh, you want to to improve uh, uh, day by day workout by workout mm -hmm. and um, I mean that uh, men or uh, men or woman this uh, this that this doesn't make uh, this doesn't make difference. Uh, this is uh, something that something that uh, everyone should do, uh, but it's not like this, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah. uh, so we sometimes we we see we see people who, as you said, doesn't fulfill their potential. Yeah, and also does more than glutes to train for women. Yeah, of course. <laughs> because uh, because maybe um, uh, just being silly, <laughs> maybe maybe they, they, they think that, that men just uh, look at the glutes, yeah. <laughs> but I don't, and uh, many 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 men uh, don't just don't uh, don't stop to. No, no, and, and also they think that they might you know look too muscular if they train their arms and. Uh, but again, that's a matter of genetics and, um, and also like, um, you know, everyone stores fat um, differently in the body. So yes, if you tend to be very, very lean in your upper body, you'll always look muscular if you train uh, your upper body. Like, uh, but but there, there are ways, if you don't want to look that way, there are still ways you can train your upper body and uh, look less muscular, but train it, train it. <laughs> I think, uh, uh, Body is uh, is uh, we we think about uh, we talk about upper body lower body but basically uh, we have one body okay so if you train uh, your arms and your chest and your back then you should train your legs too yes and uh, and this uh, and I, I I see I see many many men with chick with chicken legs yeah and, uh, yeah. and I, men who I, don't I, train I you I can stand yeah. it I can stand yeah. it. Uh, or, or maybe, maybe yes, as you as you, as you said, uh, uh, women uh, who train the glutes or hamstring or um, quads and not and, and not sh the shoulders, all, always shoulders because shoulders. shoulders look nice, but no back, no chest, no arms. No um, arms because uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is something uh, so something very common, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but uh, maybe <laughs> maybe yeah. they. Maybe they just uh, they just are uh, content with it, like we, we we said before. Yeah, and also I think society plays a role in all of this because obviously, of course, of course, you know, of like course. the role models, you know, you look at uh, incarnate certain. Um, uh, of course, uh, I'm, I I've experienced that in in finding in finding job. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I am uh, I am too I am too too big to to be a. Uh, uh, to to work uh, in, a, in a certain area um, because uh, because I have um, I have muscles so I, I think it, it doesn't fit what the society wants yeah. and this is uh, this is um, another another time I'd like to say a, <laughs> a bad word but um, <laughs> I think you you understand what I mean and this is uh, this is pretty yeah. a shame. Yeah, no, it, 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 yeah, it is. And it, it was uh, judging, uh, judging someone uh, by the way, by the way, the way they look. Uh, look uh, I think it's the it's the biggest mistake. It's the great mistake uh, ever. Uh, yeah, totally. But I'm afraid it's going to take a long time for society to change. I think this. I think this will never die. This will always stay stay like this. Um, I know. <laughs> I know. It's a. Uh, it, it's a. Uh, it's frustrating to say that, but um, uh, judging by what, uh, what what I'm saying uh, and uh, what I'm hearing around, uh, uh, this is uh, something. This is a prejudice. 
this is like uh, like an, an immortal, <laughs> like I'm the Islander. <laughs> So um, it's hard to die. Yes, it's true. That that's unfortunately very true. But yeah, and uh, I mean, there's nothing that we can say if not like uh, I don't know if someone with some prejudice is listening to us. Please, guys, like think twice uh, before judging someone uh, by you know how they look. What's a favor, please? <laughs> Because we know that deep down you you wish you looked that that way too. Because everyone everyone would like to to look a little bit more muscular and a little bit fitter. And uh, I, um, who say who say I think that uh, who say the opposite is a liar. <laughs> uh, yeah, hundred percent. Also because I don't know, but I think like you know, I don't know in nature. Okay, animals. I mean, we yeah, right. have animals as well, right? So, okay, maybe we're not meant to look extremely big. We don't. We we're not meant to look huge, but surely we we're, we're meant to look more muscular than the majority of people, because that's because now we we we've gotten sedentary. We don't move anymore. Um, we eat uh, processed, highly processed food all day. We eat too many meals a day because there's no need to eat all day long. Uh, even two or three. That's meals that's, that's another, another that's another one, myth yeah. you have to you have to eat the, every three years yeah. the three, 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 <laughs> three hours long. Long. Three no, years that's, that's <laughs> it, that's it. <laughs> I, I wanted to talk about this as well but there's no time but yes like uh, i personally practice intermittent fasting every day and i still manage to eat about uh, 2000 calories a day in like two three no meals problem. And I, exactly my digestion i think it's even better because you, you you enjoy you enjoy your meal I think you enjoy more your yeah. meal. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, 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 I think yeah. three meals, uh, three meals a day, basically. Uh, but mm, once I was, um, I was uh, one of them. <laughs> because, we, we, we all were, we all were. <laughs> because yeah. uh, I have to go out with my bag and my protein shake. And, Tell me about it. I attended, I don't know how many conferences when I was a PhD student with all my protein bars in my suitcase and I would just disappear hey. like in the bathroom <laughs> eating hey, those bars. Hey, yeah. I had to, yeah. uh, I, I, I had to, uh, uh, to have some uh, bar, protein shake, uh, a little yeah. sandwich uh, uh, in my, my university years. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> If I if I think about it, it's pretty ridiculous. But many people, but many many people uh, keeps uh, keeps doing keep doing yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. And unfortunately, oh, even people who are not as active as bodybuilders do it, which is why obesity is so um, devastating at the moment and it's spreading um, across the globe. Uh, but that's another topic. And uh, so thanks a lot for for today. Briefly, last three questions. Uh, you, 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 I know you prepared this time. So, <laughs> last book you read, which I assume is the same one as last it's time. Same as the last time. Four. Four. And uh, <laughs> last, uh, last meal you ate, and last body part you trained. Uh, last meal, yeah, last meal I ate. It's a bit fishy, I know, but it's uh, rice and chicken because uh, my stomach. <laughs> I actually knew about that. Yeah. But my stomach is a bit upside down. And uh, so I had to eat, uh, to eat just uh, just a little bit today because, uh, well, as you know, yesterday was uh, was a struggle <laughs> to, to finish my workout. Uh, so now I say I train chest as my last body part to train uh, chest. And well, to be honest, the last thing I, I did was uh, the demo flag. Yeah. So, okay. so you, so you were dominant. <laughs> well, the chest and core training. Let's chest call it this. Chest, way. shoulders, uh, triceps, uh, and core. Yes. With the push and core training. <laughs> we, we we can we can we can say that. Say that. Thank you so much for for coming on the show once Thank again. Thank you. Thank you for and, having uh, me. I look again. forward to the next one then. When you want, I'm always here for you. <laughs> Thank you.